This is a European starling. Fully grown, it stands eight inches tall and weighs about three ounces. It's a common, ordinary little bird that spends most of the day doing common, ordinary things that hardly anyone notices. Searching for bugs, hanging out with friends, playing in the water, chirping loudly, and taking care of the kids. But at twilight, on winter evenings in Europe and North America, the curtain rises on an incredible performance, and our run-of-the-mill little starling becomes a superstar. From November to March, thousands of starlings congregate an hour before sunset to form enormous flocks that can turn the skies into living works of abstract art. Researchers have proposed multiple theories for this extraordinary behavior. These soaring ballets may be an effort to confuse and drive off predators or perhaps they're an elaborate means of communication, or just a good way to keep warm. But regardless of their purpose, it is a mesmerizing air show that evokes an obvious question. How do so many birds, flying at speeds of almost 50 miles an hour, avoid collision while maintaining such precision in the air? Recent studies in Italy have produced at least a partial explanation. Scientists photographed portions of a flock from two different angles. When processed and studied, this data enabled them to map the specific positions of individual birds. More than 1,300 3D models defined the birds' spatial relationships to demonstrate how they interact in the air. This research indicates that individual starlings don't monitor the entire flock. Instead, they calibrate their alignment and velocity to synchronize with the six or seven nearest birds, those to their immediate left, right, and directly in front of them. Each starling seems to follow one simple rule. When your neighbor moves, so do you. As a result, the slightest change of direction by one bird can trigger a chain reaction that ripples throughout the entire flock to generate constant variations in its size and shape. Starlings in flight have been compared to jet fighter pilots who position their aircraft as close as 18 inches, wingtip to wingtip. The pilots don't actually monitor the entire formation. Instead, they rely on a property called topological distancing to track and replicate the precise movements of only the nearest jet. The orchestrated maneuvers of 100,000 starlings are even more demanding. The birds must each detect and respond to the oscillations of the flock in less than 100 milliseconds. That's about three times faster than the blink of an eye. And their decision-making is spectacular. This aerial genius isn't the product of trial and error. Instead, the bird's instinctive abilities programmed into the circuitry of their eyes, brains, and wings are glorious displays of biological purpose and design, evident even in the lives of creatures we routinely label as ordinary. Mm -hmm.